It was on May 31, 1893, aboard a steamer, SS Empress, that was set to sail from Yokohama to Vancouver. Two brilliant minds of India would meet, one, a spiritual monk of the highest order, the other, an industrialist who would go on to become the founder of the Tata Group. Little did anybody knew around the time that this meeting between Swami Vivekananda and Jamsechi Tata on that ship would go on to change India's destiny forever. Swami Vivekananda was on his way to attend the Parliament of World's Religions in Chicago, while Jamsechi Tata was traveling to the USA on business. According to some historical accounts, it was Jamsechi Tata who sought out Swami Vivekananda on the ship after hearing about his reputation as a philosopher and spiritual leader. It is said that they struck up a conversation that lasted for several hours, during which they discussed a wide range of topics, including religion, philosophy, and the future of India. At some point, Jamsechi explained that he was in search of equipment and technology that would help make India a strong industrial nation. Vivekananda endorsed the vision with enthusiasm, adding that the real hope of India lay in the prosperity and progress of its ordinary millions. He also added that instead of importing equipments, Jamsechi should manufacture them in India and help provide a livelihood to the rural poor. Jamsechi and Vivekananda never met after that journey. But the conversation with the monk struck a chord in the industrialist's heart, and five years later, he wrote a letter to Vivekananda requesting him to accept an offer for setting up India's first scientific research institute together. Busy setting up the Ramakrishna mission, Vivekananda was unable to accept the offer, but he promptly sent his disciple, Sister Nivedita, to meet Jamsechi. Working together, they formulated a detailed plan for the research institute, but it was promptly suppressed by the then viceroy, Lord Curzon. However, Jamsechi persevered and continued to work on these plans. Swami Vivekananda died in July 1902, and Jamsechi died two years later, unaware that their shared vision would be realized five years later. The Tata Institute of Science was born in 1909 and renamed the Indian Institute of Science, IISC, Bangalore, in 1911, and the rest is, as they say, is history. Today, it is the pride of India and one of the premier research institutions in the world. The meeting between Jamsheji Tata and Swami Vivekananda is considered a significant moment in the history of India. It is a testament to the power of ideas and the potential for visionary thinking to bring about significant change and progress. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more such videos. Thank you so much for tuning in today with us and we'll see you all in the next one.